I've just met uh, Mac, right? Yeah, Mac McDonald. Yeah. And uh, you actually live in Ottawa, Mac? Yeah, we live in the East End uh, in Orleans. And, uh, come downtown on a regular occasion just to walk around and I suddenly realized I'm in the midst of this uh, this event here this is the uh, going to be uh, an event here at the uh, conference center the old train station here in Ottawa the throne speech and uh, there are a number of people out uh, demonstrating their cause and I happened to bump into uh, these people these pro-life people from out of town and I thought I'd join them for a bit yeah thanks Mac this is um have you ever seen these graphic images before on the street? or? Uh, not here, not displayed, no. They, uh, we, we have signs out on a 40 Days for Life that we, we wear, but uh, we don't we don't have them displayed the signs too much. No, you don't usually see the graphic images of the aborted baby. Well, I think it's necessary. I think people need to see them, but uh, but there, it does create a, a backlash sometimes. And uh, we're, we're having a difficulty here now with the 40 Days for Life in that we aren't uh, we have to remain a certain distance from the abortion center and uh, uh you know we can't go beyond that and, and we so we're we, we create a lot of complaints so if we want to get our message across we have to sort of tone it down to some degree but uh, but nevertheless these signs are important and the people need to see the reality right and uh so i guess in about an hour uh justin trudeau is going to uh deliver his throne speech to start the second session of the that's right. Yeah. Parliament, eh? That's right. So, uh, yeah. So it looks like we'll, we're not going to have an election this uh, this fall, but uh, we'll see what he has to deliver. But I don't expect much from the Liberals. <laughs> no, no. Um, in terms of abortion, sadly, uh, it was considered an essential service. Hard to believe. All the premiers in Canada declared that abortion is an essential service during this COVID crisis, and yeah. there was no reduction at all in the and the uh, number of abortions that occurred, in fact, they may have even increased, I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, it was, uh, the business as usual down here, downtown here, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a sad situation, really. We, I've had, uh, I have a friend of mine who was uh, waiting for heart surgery, but was postponed because of the COVID, and he died. So that, oh, wow. that obviously was not an essential service. And, uh, so it's, it's, it's tragic, really. Right, yeah, I know there's a lot of people that are, are suffering, and some have actually passed away because they couldn't get their the yeah. surgeries and cancer treatments that they needed yeah that's right that's right it's, 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 it's tragic really but, uh, the only hope I can see is south of the border if uh, you know I don't know what everybody's view is on Trump but at least he's someone who is pro-life and uh, he's uh, he's adamant he's gonna uh, defund Planned Parenthood and you know maybe that'll leak, leak a little northward <laughs> yes I know a lot of people are against Trump for lots of reasons but really he's the most pro-life president in history. Yeah, he is. He is indeed. Uh, he's he's crass. He's he's not exactly very political, but uh, you know, he's 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 got a good track record there. Pro -life. That's true. Yeah, we're kind of hoping that uh, Justin Trudeau, who calls himself a Catholic, and Aaron O'Toole, who also identifies as a Catholic, yeah. uh, neither one of them are on board with Catholic teaching. No, they're not. And uh, it's it's interesting how our bishops and archbishops are rather silent on that matter. And uh, you know, it's it's too bad. Uh, you know, the laity. Of, we're here down here in the street level fighting for this, and we don't seem to get much support from them up above. You know. Like, no. Are you Catholic, Mac? I'm Catholic. Yes. And yeah. uh, you know, but it's seldom ever spoken of in church in a mass, and nobody says anything. And uh, you know, it, it's all done by the laity, and uh, I think that's wrong. But right. Anyway, we have to do what we have to do in the climate we're in. You know. That's true. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping to talk to us, uh, Mac. It's nice to meet you. Well, it's good to be here. It's nice to bump into this by accident. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right now. Take care.